After watching this video, you will host a red carpet event like IK, Toke Makinwa, Ebuka, VJ Adams, and even Juliana Rancic. Subscribe to my channel, grab a notepad and a pen, and watch to the end for freebies and templates for your next events. Hey there, Sharon here. Thank you very much for clicking on this video. Are you ready? Let's dive in. I will be sharing with you proven, guaranteed, timeless, infallible, foolproof tips that will turn you from an ordinary presenter into an extraordinary, extraordinary event host. Number one, your introduction. Your introduction has to be solid as it sets the tone for the event. Tonight, couples are yourself as the forerunner of the MC because what you in fact are doing is prepping the interviewees for the main event so you have one job treat them to a great time on the red carpet your introduction has to be solid brief concise breathtaking and captivating I recommend that you script your introduction your introduction should align with the theme of the event and I highly recommend that you use registers as appropriate to the event. For example, you can't use basic words to describe a medical condition. For example, instead of you to say she has a sickness that will take her life, you say she's terminally Ill. It gives the impression that you are professional and it also gives your organizers the confidence that you are good at what you say you do. In delivering your introduction, be sure to introduce yourself. You want to create a memorable experience for these people. And if you do not introduce yourself or tell them your name, how will they remember you? After giving your introduction, you could say, my name is xyz or xyz is my name and i am your red carpet host also keep the cliche words aside aren't you tired of hearing event hosts say i'm excited i'm so excited there are many words to express your excitement and to express your joy for example you could say i'm overjoyed to be here I've been holding my breath for this event. I am over the moon. I'm ecstatic. I'm elated. Get a dictionary. Go to Google. You have these tools at your disposal. So quit using cliche words. It doesn't set you apart. It doesn't give people the impression that you are unique and different from every other host out there. And take my word for it. Using cliche words is going to make you part of the bunch, and you don't want that. Let's look at an introduction template. It is suitable for award shows. Tonight, phenomenal talent will be awarded for their outstanding achievement in television and film. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the ninth annual Africa Magic Viewers Choice Awards, proudly sponsored by Amstel Malta. My name is Fierce Sharon. I'm live on the red carpet. If you're enjoying this video, tell me in the comments also if you have any questions leave them in the comments i'll be happy to respond tip number two bring your energy and showcase your personality your interviewees will only be as energetic vivacious interested in the conversation as much as you are so be sure to bring 100 percent of your energy 100 percent you can even add extra but be sure to not blow your guest out of the water because you will meet different types of people some people are coming into the event happy others just had a fight with their wives others just lost somebody you never can tell so be sure to read the room and flow with your guest and smile your smile is the most powerful tool that you can arm yourself with 
when you're hosting the red carpet. Many times you will not be afforded the extra help of getting a person to usher the guest onto the red carpet. What you do most times is you walk away from the camera and invite the guest over to the red carpet. Be friendly, smile, do not frown, do not be stern because most times the guests are shy and are even awkward on camera. So you want to establish a good relationship. The first way to do that is by smiling. Three, connect with your guests. This is super important. As I mentioned earlier, smile. You're going to double as the person who will reach out to your guest to invite them onto the red carpet. Chit chat with them briefly because some of them are going to be clueless about the questions that you ask them. And it's a plus when you give them a heads up of the questions that they ought to expect. Before you ask somebody what is the capital of Jalingo and they will tell you it's Nasarawa. Okay, so give them a heads up of the questions that they are to expect. I've encountered an interviewee, a guest who didn't want to answer many of the questions that I had to ask. She was comfortable answering some specific questions, but we agreed that while she answers two questions, three questions, her husband will answer the rest. Do not force it on your guest. If they do not want to answer, it's fine. If they're not comfortable with the questions, switch it up. You must be an intelligent and creative host. Be able to think of questions on your feet. Tip number four, skip the dumb questions. What are you wearing has to be the biggest ache of mine. My ears tingle. They itch, not in a good way when I hear that question. What are you wearing? What are you wearing? Are you not tired of hearing the question? If you agree with me, let me know in the comments. A creative way to ask this question is, I am spellbound by your outfit. When you say that, you have asked that dumb cliche question in a very creative manner that will prompt the guest to tell you about the outfit, tell you how many hours it took. Another way you could say it is, how many hours did it take to make this dress? Another way to ask is, what was going through your mind as you discussed with the designer? about your dress you have already created an opportunity for the guest to tell you my designer is vicky james this was the process or oh, it took 48 hours i was scared she wouldn't pull it off but she eventually did quit sounding like a broken record and creatively ask these questions another thing that i see people do on the red carpet that is a big ick is using cliche words like you are beautiful there are many ways to compliment a person's outfit example you look stylish you look like a million bucks you look alluring your outfit is enchanting you look elegant you look dashing you never fail to slay on the red carpet those are creative ways to hype your guest. Many red carpet events that you will host will be one where many celebrities will be in attendance. So you have to be armed and ready. Tip number four, do your research. Have you ever mistook somebody for another person? It's like mistaking Adeswai Tomi for Ihoma Ejofo Suleiman because they're both light skinned. That will be the worst mistake you will ever make. In fact, the organizer will not call you back. Research the celebrities that will be in attendance. And what do I mean by that? Go to their Instagram. Look at their stories for a week. Look at their Instagram page. Go to their Wikipedia bio. Go to their LinkedIn and dig out valuable pieces of information that will be a conversation starter when you eventually meet them. For example, I could ask Nancy Isime about her, her TV show. How did interviewing Mo Abudu on your TV show make you 
feel. Do you understand? You want to go beyond the regular cliche questions and have meaningful conversations that have depth to them. You don't just want to compliment their outfit, compliment their hair, and not have a meaningful conversation that will strike a chord. Also remember, as you are hosting on the red carpet, you are marketing yourself. You must be on your thinking cap and you must show up prepared. Do your background research into the organizers, into the event. How old is the event? How long has it been running for? Who are the members of the jury? Who are the sponsors of the event? Who are the investors? This is something that you definitely must look into when you're doing your research. If you're enjoying this video, give me a thumbs up and recommend this video to a friend who's a budding TV presenter. Tip number six, be confident you definitely will meet the creme de la creme people that you watch on tv your idols do not be intimidated and hands down 10 out of 10 times you will look underdressed compared to these guys but that is why i said you must dress breathtakingly and comfortably do not be intimidated by their hair, by their outfit, by their whatever it is, even the smell of their perfume. Do not be intimidated. Be confident. Let your personality shine through and take consolation, not even consolation, bask in the euphoria of your talent. Next tip, be professional. Be professional, just be professional. Speaking in foul language or in a street language, or you want to high five Toke Makinwa, or high five Adesua Etomi, or do a funny mini choreography on the red carpet. There will be times for that, but keep it professional. Let your conversation, let your dialogue, let the questions be professional. Don't go asking how is your dog when you've not asked how did you prepare for the rule, how much they made their hair, or where they laid the frontal. When you've not asked about the amount of investment they've made in enhancing their craft. Keep it professional, keep it brief. Next tip, be creative with your questions. A simple yet powerful way to engage with your guest on the red carpet is to ask questions that are not only thought provoking, but lighthearted questions as well. And apart from the serious part of it, you can engage your guest in games, trivia, lightens the mood. For example, this was one of the questions that I asked the couple at a red carpet event. Yeah, who's the big spender? Uh, <laughs> I'm the ATM machine. The, I don't she, think. She's I the cat. Like she's pom, the ATM pom. cat. I'm the machine. And the ATM dispenses <laughs> the cash. <laughs> Wonderful. I love it. <laughs> now, Pastor Dennis, look at your wife. Yes. Look at high ball to high ball. Okay. High ball to high ball. I, I, do, I do this regularly. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> Toast your wife. Toast oh that. my God! <laughs> Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Do we know now? Can I, can I, can I, can I toast in tongues? No, no, in words. No, yes. Okay. Uh, All right. There you go. And the final tip is your outro. Your outro must be as powerful as your intro. Now, your energy may diminish. Because the energy you started with at first may not be the same with the one you'll end with, but you have the duty to keep your energy here at 100% at all times. You must arrive early to the event. My personal resolve is that I must arrive at the event one hour before it begins. This will help me settle into the environment familiarize with the cameraman or with whomever is in charge of the lighting, the 
ambient, the microphone, the camera, and whatnot. It helps me settle in. It helps me just soak into the environment and mentally prepare myself to have a pack of gum in your handbag or a mouth freshener. You will be talking a lot. Your breath is going to get still at some point. So it is important that you refresh your breath because you do not want to be asking a question because you're going to be in, in a lot of people's faces. You don't want to be asking a question and having fish breath come out of you. You don't want that. You come with a portable fan. Many times I am not fortunate to be in a space that is AC tight whenever I am hosting the red carpet. So you find that you're all sweaty, you have the sweat patch under your armpit, your, your, oh my days, it is a disaster. So have with you a portable hand fan. And if you're a lady, have with you a makeup artist or your makeup tools, your makeup products. So you can touch up whenever you're breaking out here, whenever, whenever the foundation is going south and your concealer is going east. Okay. Okay dress beautifully in dressing beautifully you must consider that you will be standing for hours so you do not want to wear a dress that is too tight you do not want to wear a dress that you're not comfortable in you do not want to be pulling down the sides of your skirt or your dress that's just tacky more so consider the fact that you will be standing and your feet will be under a lot of pressure what should you do do not wear any heel that is near six seven eight ten inches you're gonna suffer instead wear a heel that is two three four inches that is comfortable enough for you to stand in for long hours have a can of water a smoothie anything to keep you refreshed and keep you alert and active thank you very much for watching this video i definitely know for a fact that you gained so much value from this video you'll find a ton of life-changing videos on my youtube channel and also check out my playlist while you're at it until my next video be the light and spread love adios mm -hmm.